So here's pretty much the final Y drive iteration. Um, had to lose the limit switch back here so I could have another anchor for the cover there because this anchor is somewhat structural. It's holding the caps of these bolts to keep them from being pulled forward. So <clears throat> since we're approaching the end, uh, time to switch over to the actual Gates belts high temp belts because I like the color better this part probably not going to have any further changes on the motor mount it's printed with the same settings that Voron parts are supposed to be printed with so 40% infill but you can still fill this when you tighten this bolt down you can feel the plastic crushing and yielding so you didn't feel it as much when it was just a tap back here so, and kind of don't like that big opening in the front. So, I've designed something that kind of more resembles the AB drives. That's in the works, but it won't actually change anything about the way this functions. And I think I'm just going to give up on trying to have it adjustable from the front and just figure you have to take the side and back panels off and tighten these two bolts back here and tighten that one when you uh, set the belt tension and I'd like to shrink this down some but back here where we're mounted in the back this motor is actually far enough back that these bolts would hit it so it has to stay tall enough for these button heads to clear and I don't want to use something other than a button head because I want the pressure spread out
it's just going to be running it to see if it holds up the main concern would be that these pulleys are basically just held on by the plate on the back so is this gonna rotate inwards from the forces on it over time um, the only way to find out is to run it you know I should see a gap develop here or maybe some wear on this side of the belt but the only thing to as far as the y drive is concerned the only thing to do now is get some hours on it 